Namaste Bios Urbanos. It is nice to see you all again here on another adventure. Another adventure as we explore Jaipur, guys. I'm here with Raul. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. And we are going to be cruising over to the bazaar. So, guys, we are going to be looking for a ride to get over there. We are right downtown, and the official name of the bazaar is? Bapu Bazaar. Bapu. Yeah, yeah. Bapu Bazaar. Salam alaikum. All right, and so we're looking for a Bapu ride. A Bapu Bazaar ride, hello! Kese ho tuk tuk drivers! We're in the middle of the road guys, we're gonna get run over. Alright. Kese ho tuk tuk drivers! Nobody? Alright, what do you think? Should we hop on the back of a motorcycle, Raul? <laughs> no, no, no. no. Alright. Chalo, let's cross, bro. Alright, I think we might have spotted one. Bapu Bazaar! Yes, sir! Come on this way. Well, we're still looking, guys. So far, no luck. You think? Can this guy bring us, you think? Yeah. Hello, hello, namaste, bicep. Uh, we need to go to uh, Bapu Bazaar. Bapu Bazaar. Okay, sit. Uh, kidney rupee, bicep? 30 rupees, both of you. 30? Yes. Chalo, bicep. All right, we I got... know about English. Uh, very, very good English, but I'm trying to learn Hindi, my friend. Okay, okay. Yes, so shall we chale, chalo? Uh, tike, tike. Very good, both languages. So guys, as you can see here, we've got a little holding pad there, and now Raul and I are cruising this way. This is an electric vehicle. Oh, we're in an electric tuk-tuk, guys. All right, so this is a tuk-tuk that's great for the environment. So if you guys are wondering, you never see tuk-tuks in a lot of countries, and that's mainly for two reasons. Safety reasons, as well as pollution reasons that come from tuk-tuks. So I've noticed the great thing about India is I'm seeing more and more electric tuk-tuks here in the cities. We saw them in Delhi. You probably saw that when we were exploring the city. We actually rode in one one of the times. And then we also have one that we're riding on here in Jaipur. What I've noticed though in some of the cities is electric vehicles, electric tuk-tuks can only go in certain areas. In Jaipur, can electric tuk-tuks only go in certain areas? Yes, because they... That's yes? Yes. Okay, so it's the same thing, uh, same short, thing in Jaipur. Short distance. Short distances. Yeah, yeah. But it's the reason why they have to stay in certain areas and it says no electric tuk-tuks yeah, because yeah. the main tuk-tuks with gasoline have rules? No, no, no. They don't have starting points like... Oh, we've got a uh, video. Kese oh. ho! Hello, namaste! Namaste! Oh, we got a little photo shoot going on. Kese ho yar! We got a good laugh out of them guys. Uh, you guys are probably so sick of hearing me use the exact same words, but trust me, talking to people on the streets, it's their first time they're hearing this foreigner wearing a palm tree shirt yell things like uh, Kese ho yar. So it's quite funny. All right guys, we're cruising along though. I must say now that we're in the tuk tuk, the uh, weather does not feel as hot. It, it's actually much more manageable because we have the natural AC blowing the hair. Ah, this is nice. Guys, I will say I had a tea before this, a rose tea. You probably saw in the last video. And wow, I am wired from it. That is a Karak chai. That means strong in uh, Hindi? Yeah. Karak? Yeah, very strong. So we're cruising back to the other side here. We just switched spots and now we've got the uh, down boy. I didn't know if he was going to jump up on the tuk tuk. Just oh, 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 wow. Oh, don't want to uh, break this tuk tuk. So, guys, uh, Raul was just talking to the driver, and apparently, this tuk, uh, I guess, electric tuk tuk, electric auto, it actually runs for 140 kilometers, and it takes about 12 hours to charge. So, that's an incredibly long distance. That must mean that the battery on here is massive. All right, is this the bazaar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the Papu Bazaar. Oh, there we go. We are arriving to the bazaar, my friends. Why is he here, DJ? All right. Do you have a change, my friend? Or do you have change? No, no change. No change? Uh, you can, do you, uh, how much? Do you have phone pay by phone? Uh, do you have like, yeah, yeah, 100 yeah. on you? I have, I have. If you have a phone pay. Do you have 100? So you can enjoy? 100? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, very nice. Nice to meet you. And what's your name? My name is Anil Pachabe. Anil Pachabe? Nice yes. to meet you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. No change. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to the bazaar. Oh yeah, guys. This is a very fancy looking bazaar, actually. As, as you can see all the way around here, nicely designed architecture. And where are we going to start at, bro? From here, we can start. 
All right, let's head on in then. We are cruising through the market here. Honestly, this is a very fancy market. Okay. Raul's got expensive taste. Uh, yeah. uh -huh. I'm feeling like we're gonna pay triple the usual market prices here, but uh, that's okay. We're gonna jump right in here, see what we've got going on. Oh, are these the traditional wear right here, bro? Yeah, yeah. Oh, those are some fresh looking ones. This is called kurta. Called kurta, yeah. Hello, my friend. Namaste. Namaste. How are Kese you? Kese ho? Tig. Tig? Tig. All right, chalo. All right, we're going to uh, head right in here, guys. Get a custom made traditional wear here, yeah? Do you have one that's going to be able to fit uh, around the biryani belly? Oh, we've got, we're being attacked by a wild newspaper. See? All right. Namaste. Oh, hello, hello. So we're being brought right into headquarters. Here we go. Oh, we've got the AC and the fan going in here. Right. Very nice. Yeah. Up can up here. Khan. Khan. Khan Baba. Khan Baba. Nice to meet you, Khan Baba. All right. So, I want to get a little traditional wear. Traditional. Yeah. Kurta? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Short and long. Uh, what do you recommend? Maybe we'll do the short to start out. All right. Uh, probably. Uh, yeah. Let's try that. Traditional prints, yes. alright. We have so many prints. And you have like a... All our block printing. Oh, very nice. Thank you. What about like this, uh, this white one right there? And this is the old. Oh, that looks quite nice. And I'm thinking white might be more my color. Oh, oh, yeah. You know what? That, that could be the winner. This is the Sanganeri print. And pure cotton. Pure cotton, yeah. yeah. So good quality. Yeah. 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 And the real question is uh, kidney root. Very cheap. Very cheap, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, only 8 dollars Oh, wow. I knew Raul took me to the expensive market. Not expensive, sir. Quality are very good. Mm. And they are all hand block printing. Not I've got a budget around 400 to pick up a uh, curtain. 400? Yes, sir. Good, sir. Not possible. Not possible. Not possible. Right. Well, do you have it? Uh, I'm just looking for one. One I'm looking to change right now and toss it on. 400 is very less. But you keep it separate, then I show you. I'm only looking to pick up one today though, brother. Shagir bhai. Just one. Just one. Just one. Oh, that's still, that's still expensive. Not expensive, sir. It's a nice quality, but it's, uh, it's quite thin for 700. Selling price is 850. Already, I give you only 700. Quality are very good. This piece is small. I can do. I can do. Twelve fifty rupees for same piece. I can do five hundred. Okay, six hundred. I was gonna say I've been, I've been to other markets where they were gonna offer me three hundred. So when you said eight hundred, and to be honest, the other ones had a bit of a, the other ones had a bit of a stretch, and this one doesn't even have the stretch. So exactly, this should actually be cheaper. But it's a good quality, so I'd, I'd settle for five hundred. Okay. Which one do you like? I think this one. Should we try it on them? All right, here we go. All right, we're getting our first kurta. I figured, guys, if we're gonna be doing a market run, we need to be in proper attire here. Oh, this might actually be a little tight. We'll see. Ah, Raul, I might need your help. Can you pull that down? Oh, it's tight. Yeah, I don't think I don't I don't know if that's a good fit. How is it? You want bigger size? They have bigger size also. Yeah, I think this is a little tight. Yeah, yeah. If I, I feel like if I, if I move too much, it's gonna rip. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, this thing's gonna be hard to get off, guys. It's gonna be one of those things that you break and you buy it. But uh, it looks good. <laughs> what do you guys think? Good kurta? TK? Or too tight? I think it's a little tight, yeah? Very young, not with a biryani belly like this, my friend. Oh, yeah. I think I need something a little, a little tighter. Imagine one more biryani, this thing's gonna rip right off. Right. Double XL, guys. Wow, I never in my life thought I was gonna be wearing a double XL. I'm just kidding. Double XLs here in India are much smaller than a double XL in the United yeah, States. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My size is not for yeah, the yeah, same yeah. size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's similar. That's, that's what I find with a lot of um, clothing manufacturers in Asia. An XL, like if you're a medium in the US, you might be an XL in Asia. 
Oh, there we go. We got round two. So we got to try and get this thing off. Up, can I'm K. Uh, Jay, can you help me pull this thing off? I don't want to rip it. I'm stuck. We're stuck in here. Oh. oh, yeah, there we go. Success without ripping it. That is fantastic news. I was worried it was going to be one of those break it, you buy it type things, and uh, we're going to accidentally rip it. All right, here we go. Round two, round two, guys. Double XL. We're tossing this thing right on. Quite good after this. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Hold on. Let's get ready for this. Oh, and... Are we looking ready to go market shopping? Oh yeah, this is proper. DK? All right, we've got a deal. I'm happy with this one. DK? All right, all right. The entire shop approves, guys. That means it's going to be a sale. I'm happy with this. All right, we'll toss this in the bag. We're gonna we're gonna wear it right out of the store. I think we're just gonna go with this for now. Uh, nothing for the ladies today. Danny Vod Bicep. Thank you very much. All right, chale chalo, yar. There we go. Chale chalo. Chalo. I think we're just gonna start off with this today, but uh, maybe we'll be back. Got a bunch of things to buy, and I only have a limited amount of cash. So, Danny Avad. Oh, maybe, maybe we we'll come, we'll come back. No, no, I keep twenty gram suit for special Jaipur work. Just have a look. I'll give, I'll give it. No, no, special Maraja. It's tempting, my friend, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep looking, and then maybe we come back. Danny about bicep. All right, guys, now that we've got this on, it was a bit of a strategy. Now that we're looking more like a local, they actually think I'm from Rajasthan now. I'm probably gonna get more locals prices. Comment below if you guys agree or completely disagree. Chale, chalo. All right, yeah. So guys, we paid anyways 500 rupees for this, which comes out to roughly $7. I would say, to be honest, at first I thought even 500 was a bit of ex expensive, but Raul validated it. I think just generally we're in a more expensive type of market because it's it's very nice but it's picturesque right so like we really wanted to come to this market because it's very well known uh, or the bazaar and so yeah we are going to continue walking through here see what else we can find let's go so guys it seems like this market is predominantly uh, traditional dress we have towels we have sheets we've got a little bit of every piece of clothing scarves over here purses bags so far i haven't seen some of like the other little trinkets i usually buy at markets but we're looking we're looking here shoes as well i don't think i need shoes though guys because we are very limited on space on what we can actually fit into the suitcase at this point you guys have seen some of the market hunts i've done before the bag is getting pretty full at this point and we have reached the end of the market what do what do we do brother i think we are going to take a tuk-tuk over to we're gonna take a tuk-tuk over to the next market here oh this looks like a pretty large tuk-tuk right here big old back seat there guys we have oh we've got dogs around us we've got horns going off it is a busy day here in Jaipur guys we're walking over to our next market we're gonna be exploring the jewelry market so I've got a special bracelet that I've tried now in like three different countries to get oh hello hello wow that bus is like mother get out of my mother way <laughs> literally those buses here are crazy how are we doing up there Raul we are finding it yeah all right all right so yeah guys we are going to see if we can get this bracelet looks like this i want to get one just like that and then i have a very special lebanese uh cedar tree that i'm trying to get basically connected to the bracelet i had it done before in jordan but unfortunately it got caught on something and it snapped off so now we're going to find a new place and see if they can make a strong bond on that bracelet and i can put it back in its rightful place which is great on my wrist guys on the way over to the jewelry shop you already know something has caught my eye it looks like we've got some nice hats over here hello namaskar oh we got nice hats here yeah oh very nice wow that is a very nice name it's a pleasure to meet you my name is mac 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 yes sir all right, bro. Can you hold that? I gotta see which one of these hats today are gonna be looking good. My friend, I'm trying to find something that's gonna look good on here. What do we think's a good cap here? Something like. I've never had a cap like this, so let's try that out. It matches the uh, new shirt right here. Oh, is my head too big? Big head. Very big head. 
on this side, yeah? Okay. Right. Guys, unfortunately my head is so big, we gotta go to the big head section. So it looks like we're gonna be checking out what we got going on over here. We've got the uh, polo hats there. And we got down there. You don't have any of that style? Oh, there we go. So that, that does look like a nicer color. Oh, there we go. Let's see how that looks. We've got a mirror, my friend. Let's see how we're looking here, guys. All right. Well, let's see. I'd say that's a uh, pretty nice hat. Oh, hold it. It's a little longer. Got to got to check out all angles. All right. Let's see how it looks backwards. All right. So I think frontwards is the uh, is the better way. What do you think, bro? Uh, it's looking good. Yeah. Yeah. It's a different style. I need us. It's a different style. Yeah. Uh, Kidney rupee uh, dosed. 99 rupees ka hai sab item. Oh, perfect. That's a fantastic deal if you ask me. All right. So we are. Oh, you got the flat bread. No, I don't like the flat. I don't like the flat. I only like round. Round, yes, same material. See, see how it's. This is a band, band. I think just this one. Just this. material, color, different only. True. Johnny about perfect. Thank you, my friend. No problem. I'll hold on to it. All right, chale chalo. 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 Proud new owner, my friend. It's new. Yes, sir. Oh, almost died there, JK. All right, you're looking at a proud new owner now of not only just my shirt, but also a new cap here. 99 rupees, guys, that comes out to $1.25 roughly. So it's Adidas. My guess is it's probably not real. So that's okay. It fits nicely. It's a little tight. I might need to loosen it because I think they said, I've read somewhere that if the hat's too tight, then it can cause hair loss. And we definitely don't need that. These hairlines are already starting to recede, guys. But uh, anyways, yeah, back to where we're heading next. We're gonna see if we can locate ourselves the jewelry shop. All right, we just asked some locals where we can find a place to get the custom jewelry made. I think if we go a little bit further down this way, we're gonna be able to find what we're looking for. So here we go. Namaste, my friend. Wow, guys, this market is much more relaxed. I can actually hear myself talk. Before it was so loud with the horns being right next to the road and all the people around and a lot of salespeople uh, sending their sales pitch our way. Wow, it's a bit of a break now. So a little peace and quiet there. Looks like we've got some nice jewelry there. Namaskar. Guys, unfortunately, we got kicked out of that last place because no filming is allowed. That's okay though, I totally understand. Obviously it's gonna be for security reasons. They don't necessarily probably want to have online all of the jewelry where it's all stored and things like that. So very understandable in my opinion. Oh, hello, hello. That's a custom horn right there, guys. But uh, yeah, we're going to walk a little further, see if we can find maybe a smaller jewelry shop, one that doesn't have like all the security guards that maybe is a little bit more open to being flexible with their policies. And we shall see. I'll wait for you, bro. A, a very special bracelet. So I have this bracelet right here and I have a somewhere in here. Aha! Uh, uh -huh. Winner, winner. I've got this that I need to add to a similar bracelet. I think you want to bracelet also. Bracelet, yep. Similar bracelet and you want to attach this. Precisely. But we don't have bracelets, sir. No bracelets, no? Mm. If you want to attach these bracelets. What about if I have a bracelet, you're able to weld it? Uh, this may be attached. This may be attached? Yeah. And uh, how long? And is it? Oh, is there a way to make it strong? Because this was attached, but the last, the last jeweler only used pliers to push it. So then, as soon as it gets caught on something, like it just breaks off. So is there a way to make it strong? No. No. We could just attach, no, no, but not, not for this level. No? Do you have like a soldering gun? No. Yes, we can put this if you want to. Yeah, let's do it. That'll be a temporary fix then, yeah? 
Uh, kidney ruby dose. Can I hit it? Can I hit you on the uh, take this one off and then attach right there. You want to remove this? Yeah. And attach this here? Yeah, yeah. Like this it is. Yeah. Yes. Okay. In this thing you want to attach this? Yes, please. And remove this? Yes. So, you know, uh, where do you want to do? You are trying your order. Yes. Yeah. Is that anything? This ring is not not good. This ring. Okay, ring ring also. Yeah, it's cut. Then I can connect because this ring bad. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we remove this this also yeah, yeah. separately. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. One minute. I've got that one. I don't want this ring to cause any confusion. Yeah, that ring. Okay. You want to put here another ring or without uh, ring? You put, want to taste without ring? Uh, another ring if it's strong. Strong okay. ring? Karak okay. ring? This is uh, silver or metal? Or gold? Uh, it might be gold. Not confirmed. So maybe not. So if you want to put some gold ring, then it will be. Gold, silver, metal. Just some uh, silver. Silver ring. Silver? Yeah. Okay. And silver strong. Yeah, it's still perfect. Daniva advice up. Okay. Alright, looks like here's all the pieces of silver we have. We're gonna find something that's karak, guys. That means strong. There we go, we got the players there. We're gonna snip. Oh well bam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take one off a little more of that. Take zero. Oh, made one of the rings? Yeah. First you take the ring size, sir. What size you want? Yeah, the smaller the better, but yeah. still karak. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, as you guys can see there, we're getting the uh, the ring pretty small there. Ideally, if we could get it a little smaller, yes. Uh, that's going to be a tight fit, my friends. Mm -hmm. Very tight fit. As you can see, the thickness to get it through there. Yeah, this is like almost microscopic there, guys. This foot? In uh, the flower? No. No? No, no. Only ring this? Right? Only, yeah, yeah. Good my idea. Alright, so we're doing, a, we're doing a little surgery on one of those pieces. And then that's going to be the right size ring. You got to have hands of a surgeon. <laughs> okay. Oh, there we go. That is TK. TK? TK. Okay. Okay, the rings are uh, uh, not very big. Uh, okay, ideally closed uh, as tight as possible. Fixed, fixed. Yeah, okay. because ideally, if like for example, this bracelet never comes off, because even if it gets stuck, it's still strong all the way around. So if there's a way to even heat it to make it as strong as possible. Yeah, open, yeah, open, yeah, pull it okay. up. That's yeah. the weak link. Okay. Uh, now, we will attach the both rings here and here one. Okay? Yeah. And after, fix this. We yeah, maybe we... This. And yeah. after, fix this. Maybe we don't use the... You want to fix this also? I don't know if these are strong enough. Both are strong, sir. Yeah, this but this is already open. Yeah, because the, the problem with this one, when the last jeweler put this on, yeah. is they just used the pliers and closed it. And then as soon as this thing got caught on something, it snapped right off. Okay, so we, we this also fixed we, okay? Fixed yep. here from here. Perfect. After make it strong putting, again. After putting this, and it fixed from this one. So basically, that's my other bracelet right there, guys. Yeah, We're going to get this thing almost. So we need maybe something two. One inch. Eight. Yeah, one Sorry. inch. Yeah, one inch total. Yeah. And that'll do the trick. Guys, we have a success. So, we have the right amount of length on the bracelet measured out. 
And now he's going to basically connect the Lebanese cedar tree on there. And then we're finally, after many countries of searching, to be able to get it done in the time frame. Because some of the other countries I've been to, they said they needed like two or three days. And usually I was going too fast paced from city to city to be able to make it happen. So I'm excited to finally be symmetrical again. Because right now I only have, a, I have rings and a bracelet and only a ring on this hand. So this will make it symmetrical again. I'm excited. Oh yeah, let's see how this thing turned out. Oh, very nice. That looks fantastic. We've got it, uh, oh perfect, soldered right on there. So it should stay pretty tight. All right, we're testing out the strength. Now let's, let's toss it on, see how this thing's gonna look. Right there. And, so could you help me please? Okay, I'm gonna put it on. All right, so we're searching for now the next silver ring that's gonna fit on there. Mm -hmm. All right, we've got a fit. There we go. We are back in business, my friends. It looks amazing. Very well done. Here we go. Custom added on there. As you can see, we've got it soldered right there on both sides. So let's give it a light little tug there. Yeah, Seems like it's holding. That's good. Because basically, guys, the issue that I had with the last one is the old one I had it got caught on something and it immediately like snapped the band off. So now they made sure to make it stronger on these edges so it can withstand. Obviously like if it gets snapped hard enough, either of these can come off. But with just a light tug usually is what happens. As long as it can withstand something like that, we're good to go. There it is. Perfected my friends. Donny Vod. Donny Vod my friend. What is your name? Aapka shop ka naam kya? Jay Shri Krishna. Alright, here we go guys. Jay Shri Krishna. Right here down on Johari Bazaar area, Jaipur. This is not a sponsored video. I'm just uh, happy to tell you guys they do good work. They were nice enough to let me film the YouTube video in here as well. And they finally checked the box for me, which is to get the bracelet that I've been trying to get back on this wrist for months. So. Big thank you, my friends. Donny Avad. Donny Avad, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Nice to meet you all. Okay. Bye, my friends. We will see you. Chale, chalo. Chalo. Perfect. Here we go, my friends. We will see you next time. Oh, glasses. Thank you, guys. Goodbye. All right, guys. I would say that was a pretty successful market on kind of a unique one in terms of finding the traditional wear, getting myself a new cap, and then cruising over here to find a jewelry shop that was allowing me to film. So. Pretty good stuff there guys, I'm a happy camper. And that's where I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video. Really hope you guys have enjoyed coming and exploring more of Jaipur with us. And let me tell you, this isn't the end of our Jaipur adventures. We have a lot more that are gonna be coming up. There's a lot of this city we're gonna be exploring. So definitely make sure you guys tune in for the next video and I will see you then.